Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to push your expiration date forward if you've already paid and it just hasn't pushed you forward on the client v2. So, first things first, in order to do this, first you want to make sure to close out any previously open copies of the software fully, entirely. Make sure they're all closed out. As this is an offline based system, it will not apply the expiration date if you open a previously open copy of the software after applying the expiration date. So. Again, to repeat, first things first, close out any current copy of the software you had opened previously, and also make sure you're connected to the internet when you do this process. So, to begin, once you've verified both of those things, you're gonna go over to the client v2, the FVD client v2 on your desktop, and double click. If for whatever reason it does not pop this message up at first, the other option you have is go down here to the little mouse pointer tool, with your button down here next to the time, date, your battery percentage, and everything else. Let's click on the little up pointing arrow to show hidden icons, just like it says there in the caption box. And click on the little miniature film lens icon right there for the FVD Client V2 as it shows right there. Once you click on this, it should pop up in this. It should prompt you with this with the saying, it should say, License expired. Well, assuming that it's already been pushed forward and taken care of with your date on our side of the servers and online, you should be able to simply go on to here and go to register, verify your key number and your password. And once this is done, and again, assuming you've already paid and you're connected to the internet and your expiration date is pushed forward on our servers, click on register and OK. And you'll see once you do this, if it doesn't do so immediately, once the client v2 pops open, go back again once, once more and do it to make sure, again, verify your key number and the password, click register, and OK. And you'll see now the expiration date reflects Thursday, March 24, 2022. And that is how you check your expiration date and push your expiration date forward using the client v2, assuming it's already been done on our side of the servers.